subscription related. So that's why what we have taken, uh, we have taken a website with the name Varadi.com. Okay. We are having a website with the name Varadi.com. So where it is uh, under construction, uh, majority content got built, but uh, we haven't made it live. Okay. We are just reviewing the content. So we are having a website with the name Bharati and we have uh, created a few email accounts uh, with this uh, inside Bharati.com. So like we are having trainings uh, at the rate Bharati.com and student at the rate Bharati.com. These two email IDs we have created with Bharati.com. So uh, using these two email IDs, we can uh, register with Power Bay service. Okay. Uh, let me go to my hosting space here. Yeah. This one, yeah, here. Yeah. So, yeah, if you look here, so these two are email IDs that I have confessed student at the trainings at the Okay, so now I use trainings at the to register with Power BI service. Okay, it's like signing up, that's all. We used to sign up with uh, our Gmail account with the uh, with any of the new service like let's suppose um no need to go for creating a dedicated account with amazon right you can reuse your gmail account using your gmail account you can log into amazon service which is like sso okay single sign on true or not guys no need to create a dedicated uh, uh, user account in amazon if you have a gmail id then you can connect using gmail id true or not same, same is the case with other services so here power bi service also allows us to go uh, with using our uh, email ID. So use at rbi.microsoft.com. rbi.microsoft.com is a website where we can register our uh, email ID. Okay. This is to sign up. We can say sign up action. What I'm demonstrating now is sign up action. So as soon as you uh, land on this page, I mean on this website, we'll see start free. Okay. I'm using Starfire, and if you come down here, how to try Power BI for free. So right now we are using demo accounts only, like a free account. We are not purchasing any license or any uh, pro license or any premium license. We are just using uh, a demo account, we can say, and which is uh, free for two months. So whenever I give one login for you people, uh, every one of you is uh, use the same login. Okay, I'll give you username and password. And using that, you can log in uh, in Power BI service as well as on your Power BI desktop. And make sure you're not going to uh, change the password. That is first thing. And second thing, I recommend everyone when you log in here, uh, using this, when I initially register here, for registering, what is the next step? You have to go and create a workspace. Workspace like, let's suppose if, myself using uh, this account then i'll create a workspace with the name suman workspace suman ws something kind of so whenever every individual when i share username and login with you these login credentials with you then you go and log in on your machine and you create your own workspace like this if you see the workspace then see that will create a workspace with the name see the ws okay so that what happens here we are differentiating every individual's works and efforts Let's suppose, if everyone remember, when we try to publish any report from Power BI desktop to Power BI cloud service, then initially it will ask for login information. If login is already made available with Power BI desktop, what is the next step? It will give a pop-up, small pop-up window where it allows us to select a specific workspace to which workspace you want to publish this particular report. Remember guys, everyone? Guys, remember that screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I recommend everyone, as soon as we register here, I'll show you, like, uh, I'll create one express here. So, after that, I'll uh, share login in the live session today. So, you people can log in from your missions and you can uh, go for uh, creating your own expresses. Okay. Now, create a free Microsoft Fabric account. See here, I'm doing a sign up using this option. Okay. It is asking for email ID. So, what I'll do, I'm giving... Uh, so, initially, I'll register my trainings.wardi.com. Trainings.wardi.com. I'm doing submit. And if I give any such email ID for registration, 
what is the next step to validate whether we are the owners of that email id or not what is the next step guys to evaluate that what this service will do it will try to send some passcode or some otp kind of message to the given email id so if we are the owners of that given email id then we will be able to verify that inbox and we will be able to give back the content true or not so see here as soon as i provide that email id training subject worthy.com what's saying what kind of email training subject worthy.com is it's an organization not a personal email id i got from my organization and next step It is asking for a mobile number, or I'll say text me. I'll give my number here. Uh, India, right? Nine one. India. Okay. So here I'll give. Let me grab my mobile. So it's asking for verification code. Send verification code. Enter your verification code. So as soon as I get a message on my mobile, yeah, I'll see it. One triple two three one. Yeah. I have received this passcode, like this verification code on my mobile. I'm using this. Verify. I'm asking for information. So what I'll say? Suman Kumar, region India. Organization, country, or region is the same. Business phone number. Six seven So here I'm giving password. Yes. Um. I request everyone to note down or take a snap of this password because I'm going to maintain same password for every account. I'm going to give. See guys, Power BI at the rate 2023. I have given this password. And what is the next step? It's saying we have sent a verification to trainings at the rate varathi.com. Enter the code to complete the sign in. So I'm going to my email hoster. So here I'll go and check this training server what they come. I'll check this email. So it opens my web mail. So I have received one email with the verification code. I'm copying this and pasting this. See here, guys. This email, this inbox, this is inbox screen for training at the rate what they See here, training at the rate what they come for this email ID. This is inbox. Page, okay, so here I have received one email from Power BI service saying this passcode is your Microsoft Power BI verification code. I have used this. I have pasted here. Okay, and after that I have given my consent to receive notifications, all such things. Okay, and I am clicking on next. Guys, if you want to take a snap, take a snap. Take a screenshot of this. Okay. Anyway, we are going to do the same thing for. Uh, Student at the red power bill, sorry, student at the red worthy dot com. Okay, I'm clicking next here. Let's see. Okay, next. What's saying? Thanks for signing up for Microsoft Power Bay. Okay, now get started. Either you can choose get started here or you can simply go to app dot power bi dot com this is your guys this is your power bi service url app dot power bi dot com this is where exactly your all reports all published reports are made available app dot power bi dot com see here i am automatically logged in here See when I go and check user profile here, it's saying Suman Kumar Training Server Warri dot com. And what is the license type here, guys? What is the license type showing? Free account. Free account. Okay, it's a free account. Now, go to workspaces. See here. Go to workspaces. I'll go to new workspace here. I'll give 
Suman workspace all training content made available in this workspace Government to you government okay okay so if I want to add any image I can add to my profile otherwise I can simply click on apply Upgrade my paper, please. Okay, I'm using Triflate. Got it. So for 60 days, for next 50 days, 60 days, all paid features of my Power BI service are made available to this account. Okay, I'm saying got it. Done. Okay, guys. So I have created, see here, trial 59 days left here. Okay. And when I go to workspaces here, I'm able to see workspace. What happened? Go my workspace. Let me take one more time, guys. I think it's one workspace. What kind of content made available in this workspace? And apply. Okay, see Suman workspace made available. If I go to workspaces, I'll be able to see Suman workspace. Same way, the this is login for me. So I use this login for training purpose. The same way I'll register student at the rate varadi.com for you, you people usage. Okay, I'll use the same password. So let's go and register one more email. ID. So for now, what I'll do, I'll log out from my account. So I'll sign out. Okay. Now I'll go to this place. I'll say sign up one more time. Okay. I'll say use another account. Sign up, okay. It's asking for sign in, right? It's a different thing. It's in project, okay. Why? I'm reopening this URL. Huh? So, no. so I came to this screen. So in this screen, what I'll do, I'll register student at the rate varadi.com. I'm submitting. And for this account, I'll give Sridhar's number. Okay, Sridhar, you'll get uh, OTP. Just let me know on the OTP that you receive. Sridhar, you're there, right? I got from my organization. Next. Power Bay Learner. I'm giving name as Power Bay Learner. India. Did you this? Okay. Screenshot here, the password, screenshot. No capital letter, all are small case ones. All are small case ones, Power BI at the rate 2023. And it is asking for verification course to send to student at the rate warby.com. I'm going back to my domain, like hosting space. Here, student at the rate warby.com, check email. It will open. <coughs> Webmail for student at the .com. So I'm opening mail client. Here, this is the code. 
received from Power BI service. And I'm giving the same. Okay. I'm clicking on next. Uh, so. Did we receive any uh, pop up saying please enter OTP that is received on the mobile, guys? No, right? No problem. Right. Let's start. Let's eh? say student at the rate w a r a d h a r d dot com. Next, our b i at the rate twenty twenty three. This is password. I'm clicking on sign in. I say don't show again. I'm not choosing to stay sign. Okay, so now I'm here, guys. Okay, so here I'm going to workspaces. Here I create a new workspace. I'll give Suman workspace all training content made available here. available so if i try to apply it will ask for go with a free account so i'm choosing try free got it it will reload and then again i have to create my workspace one more time This workspace we can see. Yeah. yeah. So one workspace available. Okay, good. So now the setup is completed, guys. So on our meeting chat, I'm going to share the login details. Everyone take a note of it. Uh student at the com and power bi at the rate 2023. This is a password. And I wanted to disclose this login information only during the session. The reason is, who are people interested in uh, uh, learning Power BI service? Only those people can use it instead of overloading that particular account. Okay. So if I publish in our uh, group, uh, in WhatsApp group, then it will be made available for all 200 plus members and who are not actively uh, uh, participating in this learning program. Okay. There's a reason I wanted to publish this information only during the session. Clear, guys? Everyone? Yes, everyone clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm asking, like, I request everyone to use this information and log in on your uh, uh, mission. And uh, the URL is this thing. Use this URL. Registration is completed. So use this URL. Using this URL, you can log in here. And everyone create your own workspace with your name like Kavya workspace, reader workspace, Charan workspace, like that, okay? So, after creating those workspaces, you open your Power BI desktop. In your Power BI desktop, right side, top, right right bottom, right, right, right top corner, you'll be seeing sign-in option. There you click on sign-in. Again, there you provide this uh, email ID and password information. And then, from that point onwards, whenever you publish any Power BI report, then you'll be open with a pop-up. Yeah, that pop-up contains all list of workspaces, Suman workspace, reader workspace, like that. And you can choose your own workspace and click on publish. So that your work, your report will be published into that specific workspace. So that there won't be any conflict between the work made by different, different people. So we can uh, work with this with the collaboration. Clear everyone? Everyone clear? Yes, everyone clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So, can someone uh, log in and create a create workspace? Like you people uh, log in from your side and create workspaces. So, I'll refresh here and see whether uh, workspaces are reflected here or not.
let me know if anyone experiences any, any issue uh, with this account. You have to configure this account in your browser as well as with your Power BI desktop. Okay. Or else, and do. I'll download for the desktop in this machine. So here, what happens? So we are using Power BI Desktop. This Power BI Desktop uses some login. What is that login, guys? Okay. So this account is already set up in cloud account is already available in cloud yes this account is already available in cloud so it will find that respective account in cloud when you configure this one with your power bi desktop so here in power bi desktop we have configured this right suppose we have configured uh, this account so using this account in the cloud you will be having power bi service available So here, whenever you publish, you need some account to be used. So whenever you publish from your Power BI desktop to which account you want to publish, this account is associated with your cloud account. We are having a cloud account with the name Power uh, Student at the Varadi .com. So to this cloud account, all the uh, reports will be published to respective workspaces. On like this okay here is how it works so with power bi desktop you'll mention to which account you want to publish and once that is published we on power bi service we can connect to this service using browser and we can use this login information and we can work with workspaces all the published reports we can access in power bi service yes clear this way this architecture works everything clear yes, sir. now able to create workspace guys able to log in Anyone tried logging in? I have created workspace. Uh, okay. Which account do you have created? Uh, Satish workspace. A student. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Able to see uh, two workspaces or a single workspace? Yeah, two workspaces. Suman and uh, Satish, yeah, right? Yes. And uh, can you share your screen and the show ones, Satish? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Can you see the screen soon? Soon? Are you able to see? Yeah, your screen is visible, Satish. Yeah, thank you. It's able to see your screen. Thanks. 
So Satish works best and Suman works best. Perfect. So can you configure the same in, po in your Power BI desktop, Satish? Once. Open your Power BI desktop yeah. and uh, sign in. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because I have connected through a new laptop, okay, where yeah. Power BI desktop is not yet installed. Yes, yes, everyone uh, carefully observe here. Yeah? Because anyway, we have uh, seen how where uh, we can configure login in a uh, last session. But as we have account information available with us in hand, it's good to uh, learn this thing. The top right corner, you're seeing a sign in option, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So, this we have to use, yes, sign in option. So that uh, uh, every time you publish your report, it will ask for it will ask for your login information. If you sign in for once, like saying, okay, this is the account that I want to use with my Power BI desktop and service, then it will ask for the workspace selection, not for the login information. Okay. Should I have to sign in? Yeah, sign in. Sign in. See guys, as uh, no login configured here in Satish for Bay desktop, we are seeing this pop-up, enter your email address. Okay. So we have to give email, after that it will ask for password. And guys, it will. it is going to expire in two months, okay. So I request everyone make like full uh, utilization of this. Uh, email account as much as possible in this these two months like right? try to learn whatever things that i'm going to explain in the sessions regarding power bi okay try to practice and uh, this one should i choose here one second why it has taken uh, assigned by your organization the below one, the this below one? one. No. yeah correct this one right if it asks for uh, login, I can give you um, passcode. Again, I had to give you a student at the student, yeah, student at the red bar, the data.
forty one. Yeah. Yeah. So now it reflects. Yes. They have given yes. name like Paul B. S. Arnold, right? Yeah. Now, from now onwards, if you try to publish any report, like, uh, um, do you have any Excel file available on your machine? Then just import that and give save the uh, report and try to publish. A PDF file I have. Can I do it? No. Yeah. No problem. No. Yeah. You can open that file. And you can open that one. So guys, we are eighty percent of Power BI completed now, guys. So only twenty percent like Power BI service part is remain. And uh, there are few data warehousing concepts that everyone needs to be aware of, like OLTP and OLAP concepts, and um, how to work with uh, database uh, data with Power BI Desktop and how to publish the same to Power BI service. That is one additional concept that we are we have to discuss, and rest we are good guys. So once you people complete uh, the scale, uh, you people can start attending interviews. Or even once you are done with your Power BI service uh, training sessions, you people are good to give interviews so that you can have some expectation. Uh, you can uh, get some expectations from the market saying what market is expecting from a Power BI developer. Okay. You just select one sheet and uh, save yeah. that with a name. Select one sheet of data. Uh, it may take some time because I really the machine is a bit slow because power pivot uh, it is configuring all the data in power pivot right so it takes some time allow allow some time it will say. So whatever uh, sign up or registration process that I have shown, that is one time process, guys. Once we register with Power BI service, then we have to use only that username and login everywhere. That's all. Okay, no need to register every single time. Because whenever you work in a project, uh, you will be ready made. Like you, all the credentials will be made available uh, to you people uh, uh, as soon as you onboard the project, guys. Okay, so no need to bother about like uh, the registration process. All email accounts, like all Power BI accounts, will be made available readily for you people to start working. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah Can you show me uh, what is creating something? Uh, sure. Uh, you go to app.powerbiservice.com. App.powerbiservice.com. I'll show you that uh, with okay. your, in your screen itself. Okay. okay. You do that login and let me know. App.powerbiservice. So, I have given in the meeting chat. Take the okay. details. Yeah. Okay. okay, it got wiped away. Okay. okay. I've given details one more time. So use this login. I 
would save uh, this file. And, and use only. Yeah. Ah, you save this file, or even if you try to publish, it will ask for uh, yeah. saving your file. Save this report. And this I had to select, right? My workspace, whichever the workspace I have been allocated, uh, this I have to select. Good. See here, guys. As soon, I think like a majority of us already joined and created uh, their individual mm -hmm. workspaces. Yeah. Now, when you when Satish try to publish, he is seeing different workspaces available here. So, which all our workspaces are already created and powered by service. So now Satish choosing only his workspace, so that whatever work he did, it will be published to only that relevant workspace, so that there won't be any conflict with uh, every other uh, individual work. Hmm? Can you go ahead and publish it? Uh, you can publish and see the data. Select that workspace and uh, publish. And if you go you, to your workspace in Power BI service, then you'll be able to see say, publishing. Okay. Publish? Yeah. Okay. See now you are in browser, right? App dot uh, powerbay dot com. So here in your workspace, you will be able to see two things. One is uh, your data set as well as the report that you designed, the table design. This is table design. Okay. Go back to your workspace. As soon as you click your uh, open your workspace, you will be able to see two entries. One is your data set. One this is report and data. Set. Okay. This way it works. Now what happened? Uh, I'll share my screen, guys. Can I stop sharing? Yeah, it will automatically end. Okay. Oh. See here, guys. What happens? Right now, let's suppose we have built a report. We have built a report in Power BI Desktop. We have built a report. And this report got built uh, uh, using some source as Excel file. Using some Excel source, we have created uh, this report. Excel source. And this is report. And it will have data set as well, which is nothing but our data view. Okay. Now, when I publish this report to Power BI Cloud, Power BI Cloud, what I'm doing, publish through some account. Okay. If I publish to Power BI Cloud, then this data set, which is imported from your Excel file on your local machine, see here, the Excel file is available on your local machine with Power BI Desktop. There you have imported and you have designed that report and data set and then you have published. Then your data set, your report will be published to Power BI service. Here, your data will be maintained on the back on the Azure database. Azure. So all your data set will be maintained here. Azure data set. Data set will be maintained in Azure, in the back, uh, Azure Cloud. It will be maintained in Azure Cloud. So you need some space, right, for the, your data set to be maintained or saved somewhere in the cloud. Let's suppose my uh, myself created a report. Someone created this report today. And I have shut down my laptop after publishing. So where my Excel and report available on my Power BI desktop. But after publishing, my data got published to Power BI service cloud. And if other person in my organization, let's suppose trainings dot, trainings at dot com created this report and student at .com, if he wanted to see this report, then he, whether he need a, a Suman, a Power BI, Suman laptop needs to be made available online and connected to internet and having this Power BI desktop to be running to access this data, 
No. The purpose of publishing our reports from your local missions to cloud is to make your reports available uh, to everyone in your organization. There's an intention, right? Wherever internet is accessible, from that place, you'll be able to access this data set. Get your point, guys? Initial data set is imported using Excel as a source. Once you publish, the data will go and sit in Azure Cloud, in the backend. Okay. Now, Satish, you share your screen and click on uh, your report. Share your screen and uh, yes. show your report. Yeah. So, your report will, see, guys, one second. Your report will always refer the data which is sitting on Azure Cloud data set. As soon as you publish, your data set will go and sit here in Azure Cloud. So when you try to open a report on Power BI service, then that report will point to this particular data set available on the Azure Cloud. And now share your screen on the once. Open that report. Ah, see, this report, the table content is getting shown from the data source, which is published to Azure Cloud. It is not loading from the Excel file, which Satish created on, the, on his Power BI desktop. Remember that, guys. Guys, everyone understanding this point? Guys, everyone clear with this point? Yes. Okay. So here, the data which is used, the file which is used to load in Power BI Desktop, that is not being used to show your data in Power BI Service. As soon as you publish your data to Power BI Service, as soon as you publish your report to Power BI Service, then the underlying data set of your report will go and save in Azure Cloud. So which Power BI Service managing internally, which we are not. Uh, uh, no need to worry about. It is maintained by Power BI Service itself. When you try to open the report, it is referring to that Azure Cloud. From there, it is pulling the data and showing in this table. That I wanted to uh, tell you. Clear, everyone? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good guess. That's all for the day. And uh, uh, guys, one more thing. So. I'm planning to uh, conclude Power BI service sessions as soon as possible. So maybe uh, I'll go with some dynamic timings. Okay, please be available. Okay, your support is required here. Because uh, I'm running on a tight schedule where I'm unable to accommodate uh, and fix it interval support. So let's suppose if I publish class uh, training session at 6 p.m., then I'm unable to accommodate the, that particular time. The reason is I'm getting pulled into other uh, business meetings. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, please be available. And if when the worst case, like if things not happening as we plan, then I'll go for taking a work crash, uh, workshop or weekend, the Saturday or Sunday, like to some two sessions, like two, two hour sessions. So that we'll be closing things soon as possible. Okay. And I'm planning to resume all the skill sessions uh, post completing power base service. Instead of focusing our energy on two things, uh, I wanted to close power base service as soon as possible and then uh, focus on the skill alone. Okay. Any queries here? Any queries, guys? Can you stop sharing? Uh, you can stop sharing. And as I just, I recommend everyone create a sample dummy report on your local mission. A dummy report on your local mission, some simple Excel file. Import that one uh, into your Power BI desktop and save that file and uh, sign in uh, to your student account and publish. And go to your Power BI service and see whether under your workspace, whether you are able to see the published report or not. Okay? Clear, guys? Uh, how to remove the published report again from the cloud? I think uh, by selecting, you can delete. It allows you to delete, I believe. Okay. But for now, let it be. Let okay. it be. I can give you uh, other accounts as well, I mean, multiple accounts. But this account is valid for two months. Make use of it most. Okay. Clear, guys? Yeah. Okay, guys. So next session timing will be updated in the group. Please be available.